everybody, Artistic Flair here, back with a step-by-step -step drawing tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you how to draw Hinata Hyuga. Let's begin! So we're going to start by drawing a circle. Once we complete the circle, we're going to add in the guidelines and the chin part of the guidelines. We're drawing just guidelines right now, it doesn't need to be perfect. The neck, the shoulders. I'm going to begin drawing the right eye and think of them as like parentheses. The top lid and the bottom lid. It's just the top lid is going to be longer than the bottom lid. Be aware, Hinata does not have any detailing in the eye. So you can just leave this one single color or if you want to just add in the extra detail yourself, you can add that in. Add in the little folds in the eye. Now I'm gonna draw the left eye following the same technique that I did on the right side, even though it's the left side, but character view. I'm just gonna color this in to give you guys an idea of how Hinata's eyes look like, if you don't remember. And in case you guys wanna add in the details or not. Don't forget the little eye folds. Now the nose. Now they're just two little lines. We just put it a little bit more lower. Now this is gonna be the shading area. Add in a nice little smile. And then her eyebrows. I'm gonna fix the smile here. It looks kind of off. Now we're gonna add in her bangs. Now be aware that Hinata has like little side hairs going to the sides of her face. We want to connect the bangs with those side pieces. So just before we get there, connecting the last the connecting the last bang with the hair piece. The ear will be included in there. For the guidelines, you can use the top lid of the eye and then the bottom part of the nose. I'm going to draw in a little bit of the chin and trying to make one side of her hair. Now, Hinata has this kind of buttercup kind of hair look, but she just has extra soupy things on the side. I did the same thing on the other side. Continue making the bangs and the little side hair pieces. The other part of the chin. Now the other ear, remember, we're following the top eyelid and the bottom part of the nose to make the ear. The neck, we're just going just a little bit off the smile, just like halfway through the eye is where the neck would be. Now fixing the other side of the hair. Now I'm just making sure everything's kind of lined up on each side. And I just realized Hinata has a highlight in the top of her hair, so her head actually is much more taller. So I'm just gonna add in those little highlights, 
Just doing a little basic one. I'll fix that later when I'm coloring and inking it. Now I'm just gonna reshape the head because I did change the head because I added in the highlights and I changed a bit on the swoopy part of her hair. I'm gonna go down to the neck and fix her shinobi headband. I'm gonna add it in. So make sure you curve the ends of the headband around, the, around her neck. I'm gonna make it a little bit more bigger to the end of her ears. And then a little like her outfit. So it comes up to the start of her neck and then it's just gonna go down. I'm gonna add in the little plate, the rest of her shoulders, gonna fix the face a little bit making sure that it's all rounded and nice the plate actually needs to go lower so I'm gonna fix that out and add in this little bolt detailing the leaf symbol and then fixing up the collar and all that. That's pretty much it to drawing Hinata. And all that I'm doing right now is coloring and inking. And I'll talk to you guys in the end. Thank you all for watching this video. If you guys like Hinata or anything Naruto related, give this video a like. It lets me know you like content like this. In the comments section, let me know. Do you guys think Hinata is a good character? Or do you have any other favorite characters from Naruto? Consider subscribing over to the channel and get notified on any upcoming content. As always, stay creative!